வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த ஃபைனல் செஷன் ஆன் காமன் ஐசோலேட்ஸ் அஜென்ட் இஸ் அ ஃபோர்த் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ லெக்சர் ஆன் காமன் ஐசோலேட்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் பென் டிஸ்கசிங் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் காமன் ஐசோலேட்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் யூசேஜ் இன் காலன் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் சோ லெட் மீ கண்டினியூ செஷன் வித் எட் அனதர் செட் ஆஃப் காமன் ஐசோலேட்ஸ் சோ லெட் அஸ் டாக் அபவுட் கான்ஃபரன்சஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரொசீடிங்ஸ் see we conduct uh, we take part we happen to see lot of conferences seminars being organized by various institutions both at the state level national level and international level fine so these conferences seminars they invite papers from the leading authors teachers and researchers and all these papers are compiled and published as a book we say they are all proceedings conference proceedings seminar proceedings so when they are published as a book when you receive it you have to give the numbers so what is the formula subject whether it is a chemistry conference library science conference mathematical conference or technology world conference subject you have to add the alphabet small p the small p stands for conferences and proceedings it has got p1 and p2 as usual p1 stands for geographical isolates and p2 stands for chronological isolates geographical device you are going to make use of space isolates for chronological device you are going to make use of time isolates fine okay so the conference can be conducted or organized either at state level or national level or world international or global conferences let us see an example how we can construct number for conference proceedings in colon classification fine so there are four uh, examples here we'll see international biological conference this is a biological conference this is an international conference held at madurai in 1980 so this title has got four components first the subject okay what is subject what is subject of the conference it is biology what is the number for biology g okay first concept is clear then this is a conference see what is a common isolate that can be used to denote this conference small p that means biological conference okay fine a conference on biology was conducted and the papers were edited compiled and a book is published fine now we have to differentiate this biological conference with the help of two individualizing elements one is the place of conduct of the conference where was it conducted and secondly year in which year the conference was conducted okay as i rightly pointed out we got p1 and p2 two options are there p1 stands for space isolates where was it conducted they say it is an international conference since it's a international conference you write number 1 you know in the space isolate one stands for the entire world so we take one so p is over comma p2 what is p2 it is a chronological device we have time isolates okay 1980 is converted into n 80 so we can say this is a conference this is a this is a conference on biology held internationally in 1980 fine so this is how you construct number for conference proceedings fine okay let me move on to next example all india national all india national library congress held at madurai 1966 see what are the four component first component it is a library science conference it is a conference on library science so what is the first component two library science okay and what is it is a conference okay congress conference seminar proceedings so what is the number for that small p so library science then common isolate you can say you can write like this we have subject plus small p plus we are p and p2 
what is p where was it held it was held in madurai place is madurai so what's the number of madurai 44134 so you write 4 4 1 3 4 fine what is p2 year in which year the conference congress was held in 1966 you put a comma and then write n 66 so four components first component is subject second component is the indicator for common isolate third one is the place where it was conducted and fourth one year in which it was conducted so these four components are required to construct a number for international or national conferences i think five it's clear okay okay let me give you one more example for this okay once again this is a biological conference held at madurai g stands for biology subject first component p stands for conference proceedings 44134 stands for madurai n 88 stands for the year in which it was conducted so all the four components are there construct the number then proceedings of library conference or congress held at tamil nadu in 1995 what are the four components first component it is a related to library science so two is the first component which is a subject fine then comes p a symbol for conferences common isolates 441 stands for tamil nadu where it was conducted n95 stands for year in which it was conducted so these four components are sufficient to construct number for national or international conferences being conducted or on many different uh, uh, subjects i think that is clear to you now let us move on to um, maybe next concept okay we okay, let us talk about uh, biography what is a biography when if i am writing the life history of a leading personality a scientist a politician a social worker then that is called as biography one person is writing the life history of another person that's what a biography is fine so ranganathan has given three different kinds of biographies one is the general biography and second one is subject biography and third one is literature biography so three kinds of biographies are there life histories are there so let us see all those uh, uh, three different categories one by one first of all general biography so you take an individual any one individual and you talk about him in general in general, general bibliography so whenever you are talking about general biography since it is a general biography this cannot be attached to any main class okay see if a particular person is belong in a particular discipline and your life history talks about his contribution to that particular subject then that becomes biography of that particular subject but when you are talking to some person in general general life history there is no uh, subject instead this is what we have small w stands for biography is got p1 and p2 p1 stands for geographical device place where he was born and p2 stands for year when was he born fine that would all about uh, uh, formula for general biographies so if there is a biography of dr s r ranganathan who was born in 1892 and uh, it talks about you take w since there is no main class you start with w then he is a person known to indians he is a very popular figure in india so space 4 4 Okay, W is written, then P one is written, then comes comma, then put a comma to write the P two. What is P two? The year in which he was born, eighteen ninety two, M ninety two, M nine two. See, we have not attached this W to any main class because this is a general biography which is not related to any particular subject. So we consider it as a W four four comma M ninety two as a class number. Fine. Let me show you another example. Biography of Radha Krishnan who was born in eighteen eighty two. So as usual, you write uh, W. You start with W for biography. P one and P two. What is P one? Uh, which state? Which country he belongs to? So forty four is a popular figure in India. Biography of a person who was very popular in India. 
then comma then you write p2 so p2 is the year of his birth 1882 that will be written as m a2 so that is biography of dr radha krishnan okay i think that is clear to you okay now see that's all about uh, general biographies if you are talking about biography of a person in a specific discipline so i am going to talk about uh, dr enga s r ranganathan from the point of library science ramanujam from the point of mathematics when you want to talk about an individual when you are writing a life history of a particular person from the aspects of from the angle of a particular subject then you have to attach this w a common isolate which is meant for biography to the respective main classes fine so what is the formula subject plus w plus year year stands for date of birth of that year of birth of the particular individual on which biography is written for example biography of dr s r ranganathan we are talking it from library science point of view when you trace the history of his person with uh, a special focus on his contribution library science that becomes more oriented to library science so what is subject to the subject then w is a symbol for biography fine and what is year of birth i am 92 he was born in 1892 that is converted into i am 92 here we are talking about the biography biography of a person who belongs to library science life history of a person belonging to library science who was who was born in 1892 so what is the number 2w m92 fine the same way biography of ramanujam who was born in 1882 see they say about uh, a life history of ramanujam in terms of his contribution mathematics so what is the class number what is the main class b is the class number his uh, main class then you add w to denote that this is the biography of a person who belongs to mathematics who is a mathematician how to differentiate an individualism based on his era birth a person who was born in 1882 biography a person who belongs to mathematics who was born in 1882 and this way you can construct number for subject biographies okay fine let me calm down a little bit we have something called a literature biography biography of individuals those who contributed poems novels vernac plays and literature those who are very popular in literature the authors you can say authors so when you want to construct biography number for literature for authors just like uh, in a normal cases you construct the number for that particular individual then you can add w okay then you can add w no problem see biography of shakespeare you know very what is the number shakespeare o 111 comma 2 j 6 4 this is the number for shakespeare for shakespeare we have a biography so what you can do just you can go and add w so you know that this is a biography of William Shakespeare is a this is a biography of an author how do you know this an author this is a main class o is an english author he used to write a drama he was born in 1564 so based on this we can give a number for biography of shakespeare the same way for any author you can create you can construct number for biographies it's very very simple first you construct number for the particular author then you simply go and add w that becomes biography of that respective author fine and ranganathan tells you one more thing whenever you talk about biographies of politicians those who are very popular in uh, political science you are not supposed to put anywhere else except the history you have to put in the history and secondly very importantly please make a note of this particular number y7 see y7 is also a biography but this is to be used when you are talking about the biography of politicians those are very popular in politics for example here biography of karunanidhi 
the ex chief minister of tamil nadu who was born in 1926 what is the formula you have to place in the main class b followed by the place the country where he belongs to he belongs to india so i can write 4 4 okay he is a popular figure in the field of uh, indian politics the v44 followed by y7 y7 says that this is a biography of a political leader a political person this is a biography of a political person who belongs to india how to individualize and this is going to add is year of birth what is the year of birth n96 i just go on add n96 so all the political biographies are to be placed in the main class v please understand followed by the country in which the particular person is very popular so you take space isolates very simple then you add y7 y7 is the common isolate y7 denotes the biography of the individual political figures n26 stands for the year of birth of that particular politician and this is how we can construct number for biography of political leaders so general biography is there subject biography is there including uh, literature biography then comes biography of politicians with a special uh, common is called y7 okay i think that's clear to you let us move to next uh, can see here uh, maybe another example i think okay good biography of selvi jayalalitha the ex chief minister of tamil nadu as i told you you are supposed to go to main class b madam uh, selvi jayalalitha is a popular political uh, leader of india so you can write 44 4. to denote the biography of political leaders i add y7 to individualize it i add uh, her uh, year of birth i have n 49 and this is how we can construct number for biographies of political leaders fine so that's about uh, biography let me move on to the next concept collection of works sometimes what happens was that all the books written by one individual all the poems written by one author three or four novels written by one particular playwright will be combined and printed a single book so all the poems of subramani bharati all the poems of john milton maybe different different poems he wrote in different time periods on different themes so all these things are compiled and printed a single book whenever you talk about such kind of collected works collection of works you can make use of small x small x is a common isolate that can be used to denote the concept called collected works collected works of a particular individual or particular literature or particular literature form whatever it may be you can make use of small x as a common isolate let us see some examples you can see here collected works so you can make use of small x of whom of william shakespeare you know very well the number for william shakespeare o 111 comma 2j64 is the number for william shakespeare to denote collected works you simply add small x that means that this book is nothing but collected works of william shakespeare so many kinds of works written by william shakespeare are compiled and collected and published a single book fine collected works of tamil poetry tamil poems written by different authors during different periods are collected and published as a single book collected works of tamil poetry what is the number of tamil poetry o stands for literature three one stands for tamil literature one stands for tamil poem we are having a collected works so simply go and add a small x that denotes collection of tamil poems fine give okay, one more example collected works of bharathiya poetry so i collected all the poems written by bharathiya subramani bharathiya and i published as a book this is a collected works so what is the number o stands for literature three one stands for tamil literature one stands for poem and m 82 stands for the year of birth of the author the poet subramani bharathi so m 82 so we have found out the number for subramani bharathi now i should 
coin a term that denotes collected works you simply go not small x to denote collection fine so i think small x can be used to denote a collection of works on a particular form of literature or collected works by a particular individual i think that is clear to you fine okay so now i got uh, uh, two or three more uh, things to discuss with you maybe i'll have a cup of tea and uh, join you uh, maybe in the next uh, part of uh, this uh, session i will complete uh, common isolates okay till then uh, uh, take